Hey guys, so I'm going to do the YouTube made me buy it tag and yeah, like most of my collection YouTube made me buy so um I am just going to quickly go through everything because I've talked about most of this stuff. So yeah. Um I have two mascaras out right here. And the first one is the Rocket by Maybelline. Um, I've heard several people talking about this one. Um, Telescopic Shocking Extensions by L'Oreal. Love this one. I heard Ashley Marie or Ashley Nicole talking about this one. So yeah, I love those two. And sorry, my shirt's messing with me. Now I have some lipsticks, and I'm not going to swatch any of these because you guys have seen swatches of them in my previous videos if you watch them. The first one is one of the CoverGirl lipsticks. I don't know the exact name, but this one is in the color Enchantress, and it's just the pink one. Love it. These actually stain my lips too, so... That's a plus. Next I got one of the Maybelline Vivids. And most of the stuff I don't remember who was talking about it. So yeah, but I know that they were talking about it. I got this one because of Trisha Paytas. And it's in the color Pink Pop. She said it was a dupe for Snob by MAC. Which I do own as well. But I think Pink Pop is a little bit darker but this is MAC um, Max Snob and that's Max Snob and I have compared them side by side in a video so yeah and I don't remember who I wanted to buy this because of <laughs> on YouTube I know it was on YouTube though um, next I have one of the color whispers and I think Ashley Nicole was talking about, yeah, Ashley Nicole was talking about these two. And this one is in the color Coral Ambition. Love these, but I wish they had longer stain power and more pigmentation to them. Next is the Revlon Lip Butters. And this is the first one I actually purchased. Everybody obviously was raving about these on YouTube, but I ended up not liking it. But... Um, I ended up repurchasing more because I wanted to see if I would like them any better than I like that one. Next I got two glosses. One is a MAC lip gloss. And my daughter's awake. Um, but I did get a MAC lip gloss and this one is in Snob 2, which, yeah, I just bought that one because... You know, everyone's talking about that too. Then I got one of the NYX Butter Glosses. You know, everyone's talking about these too. And yes, mine is in the color Meringue. And it's the only one I have. And I love it. So my daughter's awake. You're probably going to hear her playing and stuff. So, yeah. Anyways, next I got one of the color tattoos. Actually, I got all of them because of somebody on YouTube. Like, everybody is talking about them. This is in the color Gold Rush. And I basically love using these because, like, I work at a fast food place. And I want something that isn't a stay, like, 24 hours. I don't have shifts like that, but um, they're just nice for, like, work and stuff. Next, um, Emily Noel. I heard her talking about the color tattoo pure pigments and I got one in the color pink rebel I also have one in downtown brown but that's what they look like absolutely love these two very pigmented and yeah next I'm gonna do liners and okay so the first one I got is a Rummel liner and it's like the soft coal one and I heard Brandy talking about this, and yeah, I got it. That's an eyebrow pencil, and I got it because 
I wanted to see if it would work well with my eyebrows. Um, next I got the e.l.f. liquid liner because I heard what Ariel talking about this. Sorry, I just like hit my camera. But, love that. Next, I got one of the NYX liquid crystal liners. And, <clears throat> you know, I actually forgot who told me about these. I think it's Ashley Nicole again, but I'm not positive. Hello. Next, I got another NYX product, and it is the Glam Liner Aqua Lux one. And I've talked about these before, and I think they're absolutely amazing. I heard Ashley Nicole talking about these, too. Um, this girl just makes me buy everything. Next, I got the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil when I first started watching YouTube because it makes your colors pop. Next, I got one of the... L'Oreal Linear Intense. Um, this is a liquid liner, and you just open it like this, if you didn't know. And, oh, I can't remember who told me about this, but absolutely love this liquid liner. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Next, I got one of the CoverGirl Liquid Line Blast liners, and I just got mine in black. Been looking for a liner that will stay on my waterline and last a long time. So I tried this one, it, it's okay, but it's not great, but I heard about this one from Olivia May 98, I believe. And I will link all these people down below, too, so. Next, my Wet n Wild palettes. Um, you guys have probably seen them all, but this is my Petal Pusher one. Um, all of my Wet n Wild palettes were purchased because of YouTube. Um, yeah. Hands down, everything basically is from YouTube. Next, I got those, what are these? Those Profusion palettes, and they're supposed to be dupes for the Naked palettes. And this is what they look like. One of them is the Midnight Fever, and the other one is Sultry and Neutrals. I have reviews on both of these. Um, they're okay. I mean, for the price that you have to pay, it, they're pretty good quality, I guess. Um, you can find these at Walgreens, um, they, I think they were limited edition, so if you really, really want it bad, I'm sure you can find it on, like, Amazon or eBay or something. Next, my first Urban Decay purchase, my Naked Palette, I bought this because, obviously, everybody on YouTube owns a freaking Naked Palette. But I only have the Naked One palette, which I love, besides the outside packaging, which as you can see, it picks up a lot of, like, lint and stuff. I hate it. Okay, next. Uh, these are all lip stains. I have one by L'Oreal Paris, and this one is in the color Pink Rebellion. Maybelline Super Stay 10 Hour Gloss, and that one is in the color Pink Plush. Then a Just Bitten Kiss Ball Bomb Stain by Revlon and Cherish. But all these because of YouTube as well. I actually have more in here too. And I love them all. They're all amazing. I love the Revlon ones the most out of all of them though. Okay. So, face products. <laughs> I'm trying to go fast, you guys. So, I hope I'm not going too fast so that you don't get to see everything good. But, next, e.l.f. blushes. I heard about these on face Facebook. YouTube. And this one is just in the color Pink Passion. And the camera's not doing justice because of the lighting. So... Yeah, but it's really super pink, like, there you go. Really pink. Love it. I'm actually wearing it today. Not sure if you can tell, but... Next, I purchased one of the Wet n' Wild blushes because of Emily Noel. This one's in the color Mellow Wine. Absolutely love this color. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> so, she's going to be in the video for the rest of the time if 
she sits still. But next, I have um, this Sonia Kashuk palette, and this is in the color Hidden Agenda. And I've heard so many people talking about this that I had to get it. Mine's dirty. Don't mind that. Next, I purchased the Garnier BB Cream because I heard White Ariel saying that it was like amazing and stuff, so I got it. But I think I got it in a shade too dark. But yeah, I really like this. If it wasn't too dark. Next, the new Instant Age Rewind Eraser for Dark Circles. Everybody knows what this is, but I purchased mine because of Ashley Nicole. Once again, <laughs> you make me buy everything. Next, I seen... Oh, I don't know who is talking about this. I don't know. But I got the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream because of somebody on YouTube as well. And I absolutely love mine. It's almost all gone. Yeah, I don't know. She likes sucking water out of the spray bottle. But anyways, and it's just water, so yeah. Anyways, I love this stuff. I'm totally going to pick up a new one once mine runs out. Next, the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. I got this because of people on YouTube, too. So, yeah, I love this, too. Next, I got two e.l.f. products. I got the Contouring Blush and Bronzer because of YouTube. I heard people were saying it was, like, NARS Orgasm. So... Yeah, I don't have enough money to spend on a blush, so, like, I went for this one because, I don't know, NARS blushes are, like, what, $42 or something like that? Anyways, next thing is the e.l.f. Tone Correcting Powder, and mine just looks like this, and I heard, um, what's her name? Madison talking about this um yes but I will link all these people down below that I'm talking about like I said before next I got two Milani baked blushes and I got these because what Ariel posted them on Instagram and yeah she said they're her favorite blushes from the drugstore so I wanted to get them too I got two of them I got Red Vino and Fantastico Mauve, and these are super pigmented, like crazy pigmented, and they're so pretty too, like you can't go wrong with that. Next, <laughs> I got a NYX blush. I think I first heard Brandy talk about the blushes. I'm not positive. Maybe Brandy, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. But I got one in the color Desert Rose. Oh, I also heard um Liz talking about this. Liz Megan, I think. I Heart Makeup 92. There's her name. But anyways, I got one in the color Desert Rose, and it's just a dusty rose color. Super pretty. Then next, I got... The CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless Eye Concealer. And, yeah. I'm not giving my camera time to focus, so some of the stuff is out of focus. But anyways, it has, like, white swirl in there. And, yeah, with color, obviously, because it's a concealer. And I love this, and I purchased it because of Ashley again. <laughs> And of course, can't forget the EOS lip balms. Um, YouTube made me buy these too. I did see them in the stores, but I never really wanted to purchase it because you know, what is it, two ninety seven or three ninety seven? I'm pretty sure it's two ninety seven for these. Um, but I absolutely love these. I only have three of them because I can't like find any more like of the flavors anywhere. But I have strawberry sorbet, sweet mint, and 
summer fruit. Yeah, isn't it? But I love all these. They're amazing. Can't live without them once you have them. The last thing that YouTube made me buy. Well, YouTube has made me buy like shower stuff too, but I'm just doing makeup right now and stuff. So the next thing that YouTube made me buy. Um, I wasn't a very really yeah. I wasn't a very big makeup person until I started watching like YouTube videos. And um like I just applied my makeup with my fingers and like whatever came with the makeup, you know. But I started watching YouTube videos and lo and behold, brushes. Hello. I couldn't believe I was doing my makeup like with my makeup. My makeup without brushes. Like I love brushes like hello and these holders are so cute. Yes. YouTube made me buy it, you guys. I love my makeup collection. Um, but, yeah, guys, that is my YouTube made me buy it tag. And I'm going to tag all of you guys because I want to see, like, how much YouTube actually made you buy. Um, I could be forgetting some stuff, too, you know, because YouTube has made me buy, like, a lot, a lot of stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this tag, and if you want to see swatches of anything I have or anything at all, just let me know in the comments down below. Some of the stuff I already do have reviews on, so make sure you check my videos or just ask if you want to, if you don't want to really look through my videos. Um, But yeah, that's it you guys, and I hope you enjoyed this. And Oh yeah, I wanted to show you guys my eye makeup today. Like, I don't know. I really love this eye makeup. Like, it reminds me of, like, hippie kind of, like, earth type feeling. I don't know. But if you guys want to see, like, a tutorial on this, let me know because I will do it. It could be a good look for, I don't know, an earthy event, I guess. But, yeah. I will talk to you guys later, and if you have questions, comments, or anything, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe, because I'd love to have you, and yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!